hey guys welcome back to the channel today I just want to do a quick little update on my van true dash cam um, so far I'm very happy with it but there is one issue which I wanted to go over so basically I have the dash cam set up with the factory mount that comes with it which is the suction cup mount and two times already when I came into the car the mount had let go and it was basically just like dangling over here so I you know that's one of the bad things about the camera can't always list the good you got to also talk about the bad so that is one of the bads aside from that I am extremely extremely happy with this camera you can basically catch everything so what I decided to do was I decided to pick up one of these mounts this is by Van True this is, it says it's the GPS mount, but I didn't order the GPS mount. I actually paid around like seven or eight dollars for this one off of Amazon. I could put a link in the description, but this is basically an adhesive mount. So I'm gonna unbox it, I'll show you what it looks like. So now this is the mount. Basically, stick it to the glass, and it's gonna click in the camera the same way that the um, suction cup mount does. That way, it'll never fall again. Because, you know, it's a cheap, you know, for a cheap little mount, it's worth it. And just for the sake of it not you know falling and getting damaged it's definitely worth picking up um you know i'm sure you can call customer service maybe they'll give you one but i didn't feel like going through all that trouble for the, you know to change it out like i said i only paid about like eight dollars for this one something like that and you could just order that off of amazon they do have the gps one like i said i didn't order the gps one the box says um that it's a gps mount so we'll see if, if that's actually enabled once i plug this one in Maybe they just you just get it regardless, but I don't think I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. All right, so I'm gonna install it. I'll show you guys how it looks. It'll actually tuck up a little bit higher, which is nice, because right now the camera's a little low. It doesn't really bother me because it, it's got a great field of view in that position. But the camera's actually gonna end up going slightly up further because, as you can see, this mount is a little bit smaller and shorter, which is nice. So now this is what the GPS mount looks like installed. It's a little tidier, which I like. The only thing is the USB now is on the side versus being on top over here. So it's actually on the side. But as long as you have enough wire coming from the roof, you're good to go. It shouldn't be an issue, but that's the one difference. So I'm going to stick this up and I'll show you guys how it looks. Okay, so I cleaned the glass good. I stuck the mount on. And you're just going to take this part of your camera, because I had pulled it out. And you're just going to slide it in like so. Let's see if I can get it for you. And just clicks in like so I'll just plug in my power wire and we're good to go and the camera should turn on perfect okay now it's fully installed it's actually a lot neater looking which I like the other one's fine too but it's just a little bit neater looking um, one thing to note is that you may have to add slack to this cable because the other one is on top so I had to pull a little slack out here from the roof line that way the wires would reach here so I just had to go through my trim from where it was and just just bring a few inches of extra line up just note that you'll have to do that because mine wasn't long enough over here to do it so if you have slack up here you'll be okay whatever car you have doesn't have to be in a cord but that's just one thing you'll have to do so that's pretty much it guys the mount is very solid, it's never gonna fall off. Comes with 3M, 3M tape. In the box you'll also get, you see at the bottom, an additional 3M just in case you ever change cars or you know you wanna pull it out for some reason and re-put it, put it back in if you crack a windshield or something. So you do get an extra pad, which is great. So just a quick side note, this mount isn't actually a GPS device. I drove around for a minute just to see if I can get any uh, speeds going or anything like that. I can't seem to get it up. I do have it enabled on the camera and it's not showing. So even though it says it's a GPS mount, it's not. I didn't purchase that one as one, so I'm not upset. They do have one. I could put a link in the description for that as well if you do want the GPS one. But even though the box says it, this one is not. And like I said, I didn't order it as one. This one's only like eight bucks. The GPS one, I believe, is like like $20 or $30, something like that. So I could put a link for that also. So I just wanted to let you guys know that the cheaper mount, if you do decide to pick this one up, GPS won't be enabled, as far as I'm concerned. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. 
if you have any questions always leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you so thanks for watching take care and I'll see you next time